Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. So today I am sitting in Greg's car. What's going on, Greg? Not much. So we are sitting on the ferry here in Seattle. Um, it's just uh, really cloudy and really yucky outside. So we decided that we'd make a video inside the car. Um, Greg, when were you diagnosed with Kleinfelder syndrome? I was diagnosed at 15. Okay. And once you were diagnosed at 15, like what, what were you told and and uh, what did you do about like having Kleinfelder syndrome? So my family very much wanted me to hide it. They didn't want me to talk about it. They thought if I let people know about me having Kleinfelters, then they'd see me in a different light. Um, and they'd look at me like I was retarded or didn't have the ability to function as a normal person. Um, and I kind of took that and being the person that I am, I'm a really charismatic person, um, just kind of took that and was like, okay, whatever, I'm gonna be my own self, um, and if people can't accept me for having this, then I don't need them in my life, and it's very important to me. How long, how long since you were diagnosed at 15 that it took you in order to like fully be open about having Kleinfelter syndrome, and like fully almost accept yourself for like who you are? Um, I probably, really took to heart of being positive and proactive about it at 21. Okay. Um, really giving just everybody that met me, like whether they wanted to hear it or not, I always like to give the random tidbit that I was special in a different way, which made me a lot cooler than a lot of people as I thought. <laughs> and so what was that like message that we were talking about before we pulled up onto the onto the boat about how like you want to let people you want to let people know this is one of the most positive experiences that you're going to have in your life of having client filters at least in my eyes um, it opens up a lot of doors that you'll never know until you are fully open and honest with yourself you don't need to be that person that one person thinks that you need to be this way or one person thinks you need to be that way all you need to be is yourself everything else will fall into place and everybody will love you for who you are you're kind you're charismatic you're everything even if you feel like you're shy right now you are going to open up to yourself yeah if you accept it yeah exactly uh, it's all about acceptance and a lot of people like you were diagnosed at 15 but then it took you a few years through high school to, to really, you know, and then once you turn 21, you, you have this understanding about like, hey, this is who I am, and I'm not, I'm done like living that double life. Yes. That double life can be like really exhausting, right? It taxes on you a lot more. It doesn't allow you to have the happiness that you see in everybody else's life. If you constantly live that double life, you're just going to regret the moments that you missed out on because you didn't feel like you could do it. That's that's really, that's really good. I like that. I mean, that that brings up some moments in my life where, when I was younger, I was living in my mid twenties. I was living a little bit of a double life because I didn't feel like I fully fit in with the core group of snowboard industry that I was working with, and so that that like that you smash that on the head um so yeah i just wanted to do this really quick video for all of you and in, in greg's car um here in seattle uh we just met a couple days ago for the first time and um i'm just going to his work right now on the ferry because i wanted to make this video for all of you so um do you have anything else that you want to say just stay positive guys don't be afraid to reach out to ryan um or anyone else that you meet um, about who you are. Just be you. Like, that's all you need to be. Be that video game nerd, be that mountain biker, skier, whatever you love. Kleinfelters doesn't stop you from doing that. I like it, I like it. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, smash that like button, and do all those things Luke would say if you've watched that video with Luke. Um, we'll catch you all in the next video. Talk to you all soon.